Hello, mathematicians. Today we're talking about adding fractions. So exciting. And we're going to talk about adding fractions with different denominators. I'm excited. So in the past, we have learned that when you have two fractions with the same denominator, denominator, remember that's downstairs or down, numerator, that's the number on top. Um, so when the, num uh, when the denominator is the same, it stays the same in the answer. 4, 4, 4. And then all we do is we add the numerators. 1 plus 2, that's 3. And then the denominator is 4. The answer is 3 fourths. So 1 fourth plus 2 fourths is 3 fourths. But what do we do when we have different denominators? In this case here, Let's revisit the traditional method of doing this because then I'm going to show you a trick that shows you that you can actually do it much faster. It's going to be called the, it's called the butterfly method, but I'll show you that after. The traditional way of doing this is you take 5 times 4 to get a common denominator. That's 20. Oopsies, I want to do that in blue. You multiply here. And then whatever you do, to get the denominator. Um, so here we did five times four to get 20. So now whatever we do to the denominator, we do to the numerator. So we did five times four to get 20, and now we did two times four, and that gives us eight. Then we're gonna add the other fraction. So here we did four times five to get 20. And then we do 3 times 5, because whatever we do to the denominator, we do to the numerator when we're adding like this. And that gives us 15. 8 plus 15, that's 23. So the answer is 23 twentieths, or 1 and 3 twentieths. Why? Because whenever we have a fraction where the numerator is greater than the denominator, we know that it's larger than one whole, and we can turn it into a mixed fraction. But what do we do? So we have 2 fifths plus 3 fourths here. If we want to do this a little faster, well, I'm going to show you something called the butterfly method, which honestly I did not learn in elementary school. I learned it much later, and I wish I had learned it sooner because it really is um, something that's very cool. I'm going to erase this right now so that I can have a little bit more space to show you some tricks. So what was it? It was two fifths plus three fourths. Okay, here's what we're going to do, guys. This is the butterfly method. You take the denominators, you multiply them, similar to the traditional method. That becomes the denominator again, 20. All right. Here's where it gets fun. We do a little crisscross. So we take the numerator of one of the fractions and the denominator of the other fraction. We multiply that. That gives us, in this case, two times four. That gives us eight. We're going to add that to the product of, in this case, three times five. That's the numerator of the other fraction and the denominator. We multiply that. 3 times 5, that's, oopsies, wrong color. That's 15. Now, the reason this is called the butterfly method is it looks kind of like a butterfly. I suppose we could even throw on some antennas there. That really does look like a butterfly. So, just like in our previous method, 8 plus 15 over 20, here we also have 8 plus 15 over 20, or 23, uh, 23 twentieths. I think that method was faster, did you? Let's do some more examples. I'm kind of in the mood for green. Let's do 2 sevenths plus, let's do 3 fifths, how about? Okay. Now, as you're watching this, see if you can, see if you can remember the steps. We're going to do 7 times 5. That is 35, right? Now, we can, now this part is kind of neat. 
we could do this multiplication first and then add it to this multiplication. Or we could do this one first and this one second. It doesn't matter. You can go in any order. So let me do this one first. 7 times 3, that's 21. I'm going to add that. Oops. I'm going to add that to the product of 2 times 5. Remember, we're multiplying. Um, 2 times 5, that equals 10. And so our answer here is 21 plus 10 over 35. What's 21 plus 10? That's 31. Denominator is 35. The answer is 31 35ths. That, my friend, is the beauty of the butterfly method. Uh, should we do one more? Should we do one quick one more? Let's do it, guys. All right. Let's see how fast I can do this. Let's do one third. Oh, I didn't write that very good. One third plus three eighths using the butterfly method in pink. Okay. Three times eight. That's 24. Crisscross. Eight times one. That's eight. Crisscross. Three times three. That's nine. Eight plus nine. That's 17 over 24. 17 24. There's my answer. And there you have it, my friends. Until next time, have a wonderful day, mathematicians.